with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited, yet another day. Because today at the Young's house, Sliders is on the menu. Jeannie Young is gonna share with you all how easy it is to make a turkey and cheese slider, Jeannie Young style. This recipe is easy, doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and if you make a Jeannie Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my turkey sliders. Better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need your favorite kind of turkey. I have a honey roasted turkey here, sliced nice and thin. And here at the Young's house, we love, love, love American cheese. So I have the yellow American. Feel free to use your favorite cheese if you like. Okay, so we're gonna make a sauce to go on top of our sandwich, and that's going to include the Parmesan cheese, the butter, the parsley flakes, and garlic and onion powder. You will need some Hawaiian sweet rolls, and this is the pack of 12. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this fun recipe, Jeannie Young style. This recipe is so exciting. Who out there loves sliders? The world loves sliders. Little teeny tiny sandwiches on a sweet bun and you can fill them with any of your favorite, you know, whatever you wanna put inside. If you wanna make it a cheeseburger, you can. Absolutely, if you wanted to make like a tuna melt, throw you some tuna in there, melt some cheese on top, and you have delicious sliders. There's so many different things you can do with these Hawaiian sweet rolls. They're delicious. I, so I, my mind is going right now because I'm really thinking about doing a Philly cheese, steak, you know, a Philly steak and cheese that way. I just think it would be beautiful. So I'm using a serrated knife. And what I'm wanting to do, I'm wanting to take my knife all the way across so that we have, you know, a top and a bottom. So I'm just gonna do this in this manner, taking my time to make sure that I don't mess up the bun. Okay, I highly suggest when you do this to use a serrated knife. Once I get all the way to the edge, I'll show you what a serrated knife is. A serrated knife is really used for breads and it helps you to not smash the buns or the bread, whatever you're trying to cut. Look at that, that's a serrated edge. I only use serrated edges on bread and it really helps you. So look at what we have. Look at what we have. How exciting, right? Okay, so now that we have that done, we have our bottom and we have our top. When I come back, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to assemble the sandwich and then we're gonna make a delicious sauce to pour on top. So now, before we get started with our sandwich, let's talk about what's happening tomorrow. Tomorrow's date will be May 10th, um, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Jeannie Young's going to be going live. I'm doing a live cooking session. I want to show you all how to make delicious chili dogs with homemade chili sauce. This homemade chili sauce right here is going to make you kick your shoes off. It's delicious, and you're not going to be able to stop eating these chili dogs. Okay, so now here's what I'm going to do. After this video post, I'm gonna post a community post. I'm gonna be letting you all know what we're gonna be making. I'm going to let you know the time, which will be 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow, May 5th. You all can cook along with me. So I'm gonna post all the ingredients. You can run out, grab your ingredients, and guess what? We can cook together. We have so much fun. When we're done cooking, we say an amazing prayer. We eat together, and then we chit chat for a couple hours. So I'd love to see you all there. I can't wait to see you all there. So now let's get back to these sandwiches. So now here's what we're gonna do. I want you all to really think about what lunch meat you and your loved ones love. We love this honey turkey here, and I'm not gonna lay it flat. I want it kind of bunched up a little bit. Beautiful, it smells so good. This is the honey. You can use um, the chicken lunch meat, the buffalo chicken, hard salami, pepperoni would be good. Oh, pepperoni would be delicious with mozzarella cheese and then use a little bit of tomato sauce and it's kind of like um, a pizza slider. Listen here, if you have imagination, you can put together a beautiful slider and enjoy it. And, and this meal right here, it, it, it's like takes you half an hour or less. You know, and maybe, yeah, or less. I, I want to re really emphasize that. 
because once you get your sandwich nice and made up, we're gonna throw these babies in the oven, get them hot, pour sauce on, wham bam, dinner is served. This can be for lunch, it can be for brunch, dinner, and it can be for breakfast if you wanted to turn this into a breakfast slider. Have fun with this recipe. So now that I have the perfect desired amount of turkey onto our um, Hawaiian rolls, I wanna think about my cheese. We love the creamy, dreamy American cheese. We also love the white American cheese, it's beautiful. I, I, you know, when I think about shredded cheese, it's just not what I'm looking for. That's why I always tell you all that I like this one here because I like how creamy it melts. It just melts up just beautifully. We also like hot pepper cheese. Colby, Colby Jack cheese would be great. Any kind of cheese that you feel like melts really good is gonna be great on your slider. All right, so now that I have the cheese on just like so, we're going to do something really interesting. We want to give our slider some nice flavor. We're gonna put flavor in the inside and on the top. Now let me show you how I like to season the inside. We're gonna go right in with onion and garlic powder. Onion, yes, onion and garlic powder. It's gonna really flavor it up. Listen here, look at that, just like so. Give me a second, y'all, I'll be right back. So now I'm gonna show you how to season up the top. We're gonna use a half a stick of butter, just like so. If I haven't said, I hope y'all are having a great day today. I hope y'all are having a beautiful day today. Somebody out there, let me know if you've ever tried slider sandwiches, any kind. I'd love to know, because what I love about a slider sandwich is they are so easily put together. And then basically dinner is served. Okay, so now we've got butter melting. I'm gonna put onion and garlic powder into my pan, just like so, and a nice amount of it, okay? And then I wanna go in with some color. The dried parsley flakes, just like so. And once the butter gets nice and melty, we are then going to use some Parmesan cheese and it really flavors the top of the bun. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the bun right on top of our seasoned turkey and cheese sliders. And then I have a cookie sheet here. We're going to take, just like so. Okay, make sure you use a cookie sheet. You see how we have like a little edge? It's gonna be able to catch that butter because we're gonna spread that butter on top of here. Now, I have my oven preheated to 375 degrees. And when we begin to cook these, we want to get the meat nice and warm. We want to get that cheese nice and melty. And what I found out during trial and error of making these is if you don't cover them in the beginning of the cooking process, your meat will be cold. Okay, check me out. The buns will be burnt. So how do you prevent that? You cover it with foil. When you cover it with foil, it creates a little bit of steam. Not enough steam to make the bun soggy. Okay, but enough steam to get the meat hot, melt the cheese, and the bun stays soft. So what do you do if you want a little bit of crispiness to the bun? Well, uh, right before they're almost done, you take the foil off and you throw it back in for another two to three minutes and it'll slightly be just a little bit of crispy on the top. The bun is still soft and everything's hot in the inside. So now let's take a look over here. It's something really exciting that's happening. These spices are blooming. It's the garlic and the onion powder that smells so beautiful right now. We're gonna get that color from the parsley flakes and look at the butter. Yes, yes, and yes. Okay, so remember I told you we are going to put a Parmesan cheese on, we're gonna do it. I'm not even gonna wait for the butter to melt. We're okay. Just a little bit right there gives you great flavor. And so now what do we do? I'm about to show you right now. It's so exciting. Okay, look at this great flavor. I could just do that. I can just do that and eat it. Okay, so now I have a silicone brush and we're gonna paint on, you bet we are. We're gonna paint on the flavor. Oh my goodness, y'all never had this. Gina, that is so easy. You bet it is. And when your grandkids, your family and friends, your loved ones, Uncle Bobo comes over, make it for them. They are gonna go nuts over the simple slider sandwich, Jeannie Young style. Now, we're gonna grab our foil. 
We're gonna cover it loosely. Don't cover it so tight where the foil is stuck onto your bun. Just cover it just nice and loosely. Okay, get it into the oven until everything gets nice and hot in the last two, three minutes. Take the foil off, let it bake for a few more minutes, and dinner, brunch, lunch, and or even breakfast is served. When I come back, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna taste it. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. Y'all, take a look at this. Ooh, the bread is crispy, just on the top. Nice and soft and supple in the inside. And wait until I show you the inside. My goodness, you're gonna be all happy. Oh, your family and friends gonna love you for this one. Look at that. That's what you're wanting. Oh, wait. If you wanna cut individual ones, you can. If you wanna give everybody two a piece, connect it, you can. Take a look. This is how you make them. Mm, mm, mm. Go on, take a bite, y'all. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this gorgeous meal today. We thank you for your love, time, and your mercy. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this video, Give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed. Make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, hey, tell the whole world about Jeannie Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. God bless you all. Thanks for watching. Good night.